Kaplan joins us with more on the story, Brian. Well, Dave and Paula, any violent death comes as a shock to those who survive. Christy Miller's story is heartbreaking, though. Someone who was full of love and promise. She valued her friends, her family. She valued her life. Tonight, her loved ones now have to speak of her in the past tense. Christy Miller was the type of person you'd want for a friend. She is one of those people that has magic and everything's always worked out for her. For half of Deanna Tubin's life, Christy Miller was right alongside best friends since they met in ninth grade at Durango High School. The minute you meet her, you can't help but love her. Seven months ago, Christy Miller moved to England to work with her father. She fell in love with a man named Carrie. He is believed to have been killed as well. They were planning on getting married and she was planning on just starting a whole brand new life. Christy's sister Stephanie was helping her plan that new life. Now, in shock and sadness, Stephanie knows those plans will go unfulfilled. We've always been there for each other, always. We shared a very close relationship. Christy Miller was in Egypt last Friday with her boyfriend to celebrate her birthday. The explosion happened just hours of her turning 27 years old. Her father is now in Egypt to claim her body. She was a beautiful young girl who just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The only American over there at that time who got hurt or killed. I'm glad no one else did, but dang, why did it have to be mine? It is likely Christy will be buried in England. Tonight, keeping with their tradition, Deanna Tubin refuses to say goodbye to her friend and instead says so long. Goodbye is forever. So long just means I will see you soon. You will be back. Christy Miller lives on in the hearts of those who love her. Her spirit will never leave them. Christy Miller and Deanna Tubin had matching tattoos on their necks written in Latin. Deanna's says truth, Christy's justice. Tonight, Miller's family wants to know the truth about who is behind her murder and hope whoever is will be brought to justice. Oh, Holiday. Sad story. Thank you, Brian.